what has this disease taught you and your family that you can share to our viewers? Um, you can't detect it, it's difficult. I mean, could you, did you talk to the doctors? Could you have picked it up earlier? Could you have? Yeah, you know, that's a, those are all great questions. Those are questions we asked ourselves too. Like, what if, what if I paid more attention? What if, what if we saw this two years before? Could, could we have gone in and, and operated at that time and maybe have taken it out? Here's the important part about this whole thing. And again, one of the reasons why I wrote this book, I want to bring awareness. Sean and I asked ourselves when he was diagnosed with this disease, and we have strong faith, by mm -hmm. the way. We believe in God, we believe in heaven, and we believe in what the Bible teaches. And, you know, we asked, why us? Yes. Why, why him? He is one of the nicest people in the whole wide world. He, uh, was the one that really led me back to church. He you was know, more religious than I was, for sure. Here's what we know. This is a disease that has no cure right now. Mm -hmm. This disease can affect you whether you're young, you're old, you're black, you're white, you're Asian, wh whomever you are, this disease is brutal. Mm -hmm. And it is one of the least funded diseases in terms of research. Mm -hmm. And so one of the reasons uh, why I wrote this book, and I say we as well, because Sean was the writer, I was not the writer. Mm -hmm. And when we asked the question of why us, we thought there has to be a reason, there has to be a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so I think part of our life purpose or my life's purpose is to do this because his death could not have been in vain. And so he was a writer. I have a microphone every day. So we thought, you know, maybe part of our purpose is to shine a light on this disease and do our part and say, hey, let's put more money towards research. research. Let's inspire someone to study the brain. And, you know, maybe in my lifetime, maybe there will be a cure that's found because I don't want anyone else to lose their dad sooner than they have to. I look at my son every day. He is exactly the son that my husband wanted. And we tried hard for him. You know, I was 42 and he was in his late 40s. And when I look at Gus, he is the child that he wanted so badly. Everything about him is the kid he always wanted. And I just feel so sad that his dad is not here to enjoy such a fine young man who's growing up to be so smart and, and loves basketball, just like I his dad. I see that. <laughs> you see that on my social media. Yes, I do. His dad loved basketball so much. And so, you know, this is part of why I want to do this because I want to bring attention and I want to inspire someone to do the research and maybe we can find this cure finally. It, yeah. it really still feels like seven months sometimes. And then there are other times where I'm excited about the future and I'm excited about life and I get a lot of questions like, are you dating? <laughs> What's going I'm on? I'm biting my tongue. I'm like, should I? All right. That's a oh, common yeah. question. Oh, okay. that, that is one of the most common questions that I get. For a very long time, I was nowhere near ready. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I still wear uh, on occasion, uh, many occasions actually, uh, the rings, mm -hmm. our rings. I've, I've put them together, mm -hmm. my wedding ring and my husband's wedding ring. So he's always, he's always with us. He's always around. And so am I ready to open my heart up again? You know, it's not closed. <laughs> it's not closed. <laughs> right, right. I love that. As a mother, your son is now 11, nearing um, teenage years. Oh my gosh, yes. He's 11 going on 18, I think. Right. He wants to be in the NBA. Mm -hmm. So my life is about basketball right now. He's, you know, he's doing really well. Mm -hmm. He's doing very well. He's well adjusted. We talk about his daddy and we talk about daddy memories all the time. I think we're going through life in, in, in a good way. I think we're making his daddy proud. A API yes. Heritage Month. Yes, that's yes. right. You've been in the business for so long already. Um, Since I was 12. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> so advice for those who kind of want to break out of the community as well and just do follow their heart, follow their, you know, their passion. You have the medium right now. Right. Use it. Mm -hmm. Create a, your channel, 
practice mm -hmm. and do as much as you can on social media because that's your audience. Your audience is no longer here in Los Angeles, for example. Your audience is Global. the world. Exactly. Your audience is the world. And so use it. Right. Yeah. Right. Happy Mother's Day to you, Maria. I'm um, so proud of you, especially now having heard what you've gone through and how you're smiling, you're happy, <laughs> you're shining from the inside. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. <laughs>